Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can recreate the door opening scene from Resident Evil. So it's a simple scene, I just have a plain black sky box here and a door and this door also contains a hinge which is basically just a game object, a cube with the rest of the door attached just so as we can pivot the door on a hinge like so. So the idea of what we're going to do here is a sequence of events and that's how this occurs. So we're going to do it in a couple of stages. The first stage is just to simply create a screen to fade out into the scene it was. So game object, UI, and let's go raw image. And we're going to want to anchor this to stretch the entire scene. We'll zero out everything so as it does stretch the entire scene and we'll change the color to black. Now what we need to do is create an animation to make this go completely transparent. So let's click our animation tab, click on create, and we'll just call it fade screen, save. Let's press our record button. So frame zero, we are going to want this to be 255. So let's go to our alpha in the color and change it to 255. Hit enter. And we'll fade in over one second. So we'll go to our 60th frame because we're doing 60 frames a second. So by the 60th frame, we'll have zero as the alpha. And hit enter. We can close that and then stop recording. And what we're going to do now is the same thing we're going to do for every animation that we create in this tutorial. We need to click on it. We need to change it to debug and then legacy. Back to normal and then just once. So what we do then is on the raw image itself, we need to remove the animator. So right click, remove component and add in animation. So you can type anim in the search bar here and click animation, drag and drop fade screen. And on animations, it should automatically be set once we drag it here. So size one, element zero is fade screen. And we do want to play automatically. So now what we need to do, we've done the first sequence, is we need to create one for our main camera. This main camera, first animation, is going to slowly approach the door over the course of, let's say, three seconds. So, main camera, let's go to animation, and let's click create, and we'll do um, move, we'll just do move zero one. Press record, so the first frame, frame zero, we'll have uh, the movement, which is going to be on the Z axis so we can change the position let's retype this number here so as we set our first frame minus 4.08 and like i said we're going to do this over three seconds so the third second is going to be frame 180 again because it's 60 frames second so we'll hit enter on there and then we'll just move our camera forward to about there and then we can Press record and then once again let's remove the animator let's attach animation and drag and drop move zero one onto animation there size is going to be one again and let's attach move one to element zero and let's change it to legacy in the debug setting back to normal and then once next thing we need to do is we need to animate the door nice and simple we go on the door hinge itself. You can get a door pretty much anywhere. You could have a look in the Unity Asset Store if you wanted. But the idea is you have to have a hinge, which is basically a cube here, which we can pivot around. And because this door itself is a child object, it will also pivot with it. So it gives the impression of a door opening. So we'll create animation for this. Create. And we'll call this door open. Uh, Anim. Then we'll press record. First keyframe is zero again. And we need to set the rotation on the Y as zero. So what I usually do is I hit enter to turn it red and then redo zero just to set that first keyframe here. Hit enter. And then we'll open it over the course of a second. So it's 60th frame. What we need to do is we can rotate the door like so to probably about 80, we'll do 85 degrees. So we'll do it to there. Hit enter and stop the record again. And yep, it's that same process again. We need to go to door, which is the main parent object. Remove the animator, add the animation. 
and drag over door open onto there size is one door open onto there and yep you guessed it over into debug click legacy again normal and then once and then the final animation we're going to do is back on this camera so we need to make the camera then move through the door so to do that animation again and here where we have move one what we do is click down and create new clip and it'll prompt us this again so we'll just call this move zero two so the idea of what we're doing here after we press record is to move the camera through the door so frame zero we need to change and have um on z again it should be in fact i'm going to do minus 4.08 even though it shouldn't be we have to just double check where our camera position is after the first move but what we can do is set our we'll do it over two seconds to walk through the door so 120 is the frame number so by 120th frame we need to be about there the other side of the door and then press record stop that and let's go click here back to move one and 60th frame so we go here type in 60 hit enter and we can see if we copy this number here remember this is the point our camera is going to be after we play the first animation so if we go back to move two press record on keyframe zero paste that number there so the camera starts in that position that it ends on in the last animation hit enter press record so that's the four animations we need now the door contain uh, sorry the camera i should say contains uh, move one and move two so what we're going to do is quickly press play and we can see that all the animations are playing pretty much at the same time so what we need to do is go onto the door and we need to untick play automatically because we don't need that to happen we only need the fade screen and move zero one to happen first off so now we need to create a script to allow our sequence of events so right click create c sharp script and we'll call this sequence door so within this script we're going to use a couple of variables because we're also going to add some audio to this as well so first things first what we'll do is get rid of void update we don't need that and we don't need this note at the top void start so first variable public game object and we'll have the camera next one public game object the door next one public audio source and we'll have it door opens next one public audio source door closes semicolon okay so we'll bring in this audio now so we'll have two game objects uh, attached to the camera so right click create empty f2 door open and i just have this quick little audio clip here so you can get a free audio clip of a door opening pretty much anywhere hold control press d f2 door closes and then we just have the door close audio on there as you would expect so we've got all our variables set now and what we need to do is on void start we actually need to do this in something called i enumerator we use i enumerator because we're using yield now if we use void we can't use that with yield we have to use i enumerator so we'll start with that i enumerator and we'll just call this the sequence open close bracket open curly bracket let's go down a few lines close curly bracket so the only thing we're going to need to do in void start is start up this sequence so we can do start co routine and in brackets the sequence open close bracket close bracket again semicolon so this sequence now we do it well we try and get it as close as possible to the actual seconds that we do things on so what we'll do is first and foremost the two animations the fade screen the camera will play automatically so we don't need to address them at the moment one thing we do need to do though is we need to yield wait 
for sorry we need to return new wait for seconds and in brackets the amount of time we want to wait for our, our first move animation to play which was two seconds i believe let's go and check we did it uh three seconds it was so we need to wait for three seconds in fact, we'll wait for 3.5 just to give a bit more suspense. So after 3.5 seconds, what we need to do is play the door opens audio clip. So door opens dot play, open close bracket, semicolon. And at that exact same time, we need to open the door itself. So what we'll do is the door dot get component and in spiky brackets, animation, open close bracket, dot play, that's a capital P, remember there? And in brackets and quotes, we need to put the name of the animation that we did for the door, in which case it's door open anim. Door open anim, semicolon. And that lasts for a second. So yield, return, new, wait for seconds and i'm going to wait for about 1.25 seconds just add a bit more suspense again and put the f there because it's a float and i should do the same here because it is a float so after 1.25 seconds we need to pass through the door so we need to reference the second script the sorry the second animation in the camera so the camera dot get component in spiky brackets animation again open close bracket dot play and then brackets and quotes it's the animation name which is move zero two move zero two quote close bracket semicolon and that lasts for i think it was two seconds so what we'll do is yield return new wait for seconds and i'm going to do 1.95 f so it's just shy of two seconds so after we pass through it just before the animation ends we'll play door closes so door closes dot play up close bracket semicolon and save that script head back into unity and now let's attach that script to an empty game object so drag and drop and then we just need to set those four variables camera no problem door onto there door open sound and door close sound and now hopefully when we press play this entire sequence of events should work Okay, so one thing I noticed there is the camera kind of jumped back a little bit. So let's double check that our camera animation is actually correct. So move two should start at the same point that, uh, okay. So it looks like it is jumping a little bit, which we can resolve if we just change frame zero. Let's retype this number just to double check. That is right. I may have actually put the wrong number in. So I'm going to go back to move one and go to frame 180. And I have, that's the reason why. I've actually gone to this frame 120, I think possibly instead of 180. But all we need to do is just make sure the end frame on the camera, Z position is the same as the first frame on move two. So we need to press record again, frame zero, and overwrite with that, hit enter, press record, stop the animation, and now we should have everything perfect. And there we go. That was how we create the door opening scene from Resident Evil. Guys, I hope it was useful for you and I hope you can use it well in pretty much any game you're making. Guys, thank you very much for watching.